<sighs> well, y'all, uh, I guess I should say this, that it's uh, a long time coming. Uh, it's, uh, it's been a wrap-up! <laughs> gotcha, bitch! Video games, video games, I like to collect video games, video games, video games, I like to collect video games. PlayStation 2023 wrap up, y'all. So, um, let's jump into it, yo. Um, <clears throat> so every year, for the past few years, PlayStation has kind of putting out this uh, wrap up, kind of you know, tell you how you did throughout the year, um, playing games, hours played, your top five games. Um, they send out a link, or there's a link you can go to. I think it's, I'll put it in the description. I think it's like wrap up at playstation.com or something like that. But uh, once you sign in, they'll kind of, you know, break it down to see how many hours you played, how many hours you played games, how many trophies you got, um, digital collectibles now, all that stuff, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I was trying to find my stuff from last year. I found a, a little bit of it last year. Um, and this year is, it's terrible, y'all. Um, obviously, things got in the way of me gaming, so it wasn't it wasn't uh, like 2022. So definitely down in the, in the playing time this year. But uh, hope to try to bring that back in 2024. Obviously, with the portal, it's going to help me, you know, be more versatile uh, instead of just sitting in front of a TV. Uh, I can, you know, sit on the toilet. Thanks, Sony. <laughs> and play sit in my bed uh, so uh, i'm sure you switch owners out there kind of you know know how that goes i'm sure you guys have been doing that for a while but uh we'll jump right into it yo so the first uh one of the first like slides they give you uh they'll tell you like the first game you played um in 2023 and then they'll kind of show you you know they'll show you the the title and then they'll show you the um, when you played it so the first game i played i want to say it was on probably the first uh, was this game here, um, <clears throat> Thad the Explorer. So this is kind of based off of uh, a TV show. Um, it is a uh, currently a Spain exclusive um, that you can get. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, if you like um, Indiana Jones, if you like um, you know National Treasure, that kind of stuff, movies, games like that. Um, it's it's a kids game, obviously, but it's it's fun for what it is. Uh, There's nothing to, to run home about, but. Uh, that was my that was my first game of 2023 with Thad the Explorer. So, um, <clears throat> it's okay, it's a little buggy, but uh, oh, okay. Um, so next slide, um, they kind of tell you about how many hours you played. And like I said, this year it was down. I played, I had like 550 hours, uh, which is terrible um, compared to 2022. But it is what it is. Uh, we got another year to, to game to play it up. Um, <clears throat> I got all these games behind me. So I got plenty of time to play and plenty of things to play. So uh, I'll kind of go into like my top five games that they that they saw that I played this year um, based on play time. So uh, we'll go and start with five. So my fifth game, this one was it, was Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, definitely love this was my fighting game of the year I know Street Fighter 1 uh, this <clears throat> this is my fighting game um I think you're I think there's people that's torn between Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat I mean obviously they, they've kind of both been out you know since the 90s um, obviously arcades and stuff like that too but for me like I grew up in Mortal Kombat just love uh, the bloodiness the um, <laughs> the the fatalities the stage fatalities i mean everything uh this has the story is pretty decent it's okay it's, it's it starts off real cool and then uh it gets kind of crazy towards the end i still enjoyed it uh, but they just announced that this will be cross play uh in february so february you know if you have playstation and your friends have you know xbox or whatever um you know you can play with them uh and, and, and beat them up in Mortal Kombat one so this was my fifth game played um i want to say it's i I can't remember, I, I didn't even have to rush, for, should have wrote it down, but I can't remember how many hours I put into this one. But uh, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Um, there's a couple of things I wish they would have added back into this one. Um, but for what it is, uh, for the time that it's been away, uh, I definitely enjoy it. So that was my fifth game. My fourth game this year 
was a little indie called <clears throat> Dungeon Munchies. Um, one thing I, I gotta know that I, I ha I'll have to end up putting this one into my, uh, I'll have to get the collector's edition, I should say. I, I love this game. Pretty cool indie game. So you're, you're the zombie and you, it's like you are what you eat. So you, it's obviously like a dungeon crawler, um, but you're going, you're going through the different levels, killing enemies, and then you cook them and eat them. So depending on what the enemies are, um, you can create different dishes. And it's, it's funny because like the animation they have when, you know, you're you're mixing the stuff up to, you know, get a, a certain power or a certain, certain ability. It's like, it's like the, I don't know if you guys have seen the meme where the guy's like this huge pan, <laughs> just, just rubbing, uh, just going back on this walk. Look at the flick of their Look at the flick of their Look at the flick of their So it's, uh, it's, it's pretty funny, but it's a, it's a great game. Definitely recommend this one. Uh, I'm sure you can probably find it pretty cheap now. I think it wasn't that expensive when it came out. I want to say it was like maybe 34 bucks, 39 bucks. But uh, definitely put this on your radar. Uh, it's a great one to play, great, great one to check out. Especially if you like, um, if you like Dungeon Crawlers, if you like just the uh, games where you can, you know, mix up different uh, ingredients to, uh, to see how you can, you know, challenge yourself to get through, through the level. Highly recommend Dungeon Munchies. Uh, four. Was it this one? Well, anyways, we'll just go with this one. Um, four. One that I definitely recommended, Game of the Year. I know Baldur's Gate won it. I didn't play it yet. I will play it when the physical comes out. Uh, but Spider-Man 2. Yeah, join the story of this one. I mean, it's Spider-Man. We all know uh, from 2018, the original Spider-Man and then Miles Morales. I uh, love, love this one. I've been putting a lot of time with uh, this one on the portal. So, uh, <coughs> if you haven't played Spider-Man, obviously it's a PlayStation exclusive. Uh, currently, definitely jump into Spider-Man 2. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, there's, they just announced, Insomniac announced that there's going to be, uh, uh, what was it? Their next update's coming next year. So it's, it's gonna be, you know, they're gonna add the new game plus, and some other uh, fixes and things like that too. So uh, be on the lookout for that. But until then, Spider-Man 2, highly, highly recommend that one. Uh, this next one, I wanna say number two, this might not have been number, this might've been three. But uh, the next one is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, I'm a huge uh, horror movie fan. Love this movie series. I was excited when they announced this was coming to uh, PlayStation or making a game for it, but just because it's uh, other than Dead by Daylight, I think. No, I, he was in Mortal Kombat too, actually. Now that, now that I remember, um, you know, you don't really don't play as Bubba Leatherface, however you want to say his name. Um, so the idea behind this is you're different characters and you're trapped um, in the house trying to escape from uh, the crazy family. Um, so it's it's based on the 1974 horror film. I think that's the only the license they got for it. So they didn't get licensed for the, any other other movies. So, um, but yeah, it's fun. Like especially if you can get with a, a bunch of fan, uh, a bunch of friends. I say family. You can get you with your family too as well. <laughs> uh, get with uh, you know a bunch of friends and kind of try to escape and plan it out. It's definitely a fun one to to play. I think I think the key to these games like Dead by Daylight. Um, Predator, Jason, uh, what else? Um, Evil, Evil Dead. I mean, any of these games like that, if the key is the communication. Like, if you're not talking and you're just trying to escape yourself, cool, you can do that. Um, but I think the, the the way to have fun and enjoy these is trying to communicate with the other people on your team to escape. But yeah, um, I know there's got, there was some backlash between like with this game, saying that they, they kind of favor the, the killers. I mean, obviously they want, <laughs> they don't want you to just escape easily just because it's, it's going to make the game not so fun all the time. Um, so they got to kind of balance it out, but they are kind of putting patches out, balancing out characters like they do any of these multiplayer games. Uh, they added some new, you know, skins, levels, uh, characters like that too. So, uh, definitely check this out. I think you, you'll enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, you didn't, uh, you didn't hear from me. And then last but not least, you know, I try 
every year since this thing has been coming out, I try my hardest not to make this like my my game, like my number one game or the most played game. Like I, I try and it doesn't seem like I've, I've played that much, but apparently PlayStation thinks I do. Um, at least they say that I do. Maybe uh, they pay, <laughs> maybe they pay PlayStation to say, hey, put this, put this game as their number one. But uh, yeah, it's uh, Modern Warfare 3. I mean, damn, this game just came out in November. So it's crazy to me that I put that much time in since November till when this wrap up came out. But this is like my number one game and like i said i and i don't know if they're you know they could i guess if they count like warzone but it didn't say warzone it said modern warfare 3 so um you know i'll have to look into that i don't know if they're counting warzone because yeah i did play warzone throughout the year but um if they're just counting this game i feel like i haven't played it that much to be my number one game i feel like i played some of these other ones but Again, it doesn't seem like I'm playing it that long for to be my number one game, but who knows? Activision could be playing, <laughs> paying PlayStation to be like, hey, put this as a number one game. But yeah, that's uh, that was my number one game for this year. I mean, we all know Call of Duty um, does what it does. Uh, <clears throat> it is what it is. It's, it's not bad. Um, I'm ready for them to bring back uh, Rebirth Island, uh, Redance next year so i'll be definitely on that and, and like i said hopefully next year is a different i'm gonna probably do this next year as well to see what what it is but uh, hopefully it's not modern warfare 3 um hopefully it's something else but we'll, we'll see um what else was the wrap up uh yeah most of my my hours played were on the playstation 5 obviously um i played apparently i played like 12 ps4 games um, then I played like seven VR2 games, which is about the whole collection almost for physical. Uh, trophies, I had about 314 trophies. So yeah, uh, not too shabby. Um, definitely gonna be gaming a little bit more this year. Probably gonna be doing a little bit more streaming um, and uh, obviously collecting. So uh, stay tuned guys. I got the collection video episode two coming out tomorrow. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. And then Saturday, we get the podcast. So uh, me, Will, and Sean um, having fun. So uh, that is it, y'all. That's the wrap-up for 2023 PlayStation wrap-up. Those are my top five games that I played this year. I wouldn't say it's my top five games. <laughs> but considered, uh, considering PlayStation, um, based on what PlayStation is saying, that I played uh, throughout 2023, those are my top five games. So let me know what your guys' uh, – how many hours you guys played. Let me know what was your maybe number – the one game that you played this year or top three put them down in the comments uh appreciate you guys liking the video sharing um and then just commenting on the video you know interaction i love it so uh stay tuned guys till the next video peace